Hello childrens, my name is Sanjay. Welcome to our channel, it's show time. Today we are discussing about chemical bonding. Before we start our class, please subscribe my channel to watch more videos. Hello childrens, in part 1 video, we discussed about a introduction. Now in part 2, we are discussing about a Lewis symbol or Lewis dot structure. We observed in periodic table, elements are arranged according to their electronic configuration. Once we observe the elements in our periodic table, the noble gases, there are 18th group or zero group elements we are calling them as a noble gases so there we observe the noble gases elements that does not react with uh, any other elements to forming as any chemical bonding so those elements are least reactive or they do not react to that makes the reason for the formation of chemical bonding on what basis why we are discussing about chemical bonding that was only observed from our periodic table only by the noble gases elements if noble gases elements are not there it's very difficult to understand how elements are combined so if we observe the noble gas elements their valency will be zero so why the noble gas elements valency will be zero if we observe the electronic configuration of the noble gases elements for example if we see helium neon organ krypton and etc so these are the elements belongs to noble gases those are 18th group or 8a group because they are stable elements why we are uh, noble gases we are calling them as a stable elements because they will not participate in any chemical reaction like uh, other group elements if we observe their electronic configuration the helium electronic configuration it's 2 comma 2 sorry it's uh, only the two because uh, atomic number will be two and if we observe for the neon atomic number will be 10 its electronic configuration 2 comma 8 if we observe for the organ it is uh, 18 the electronic configuration will be 2 comma 8 comma 8 if we observe for the krypton the electronic configuration 2 comma 8 comma 18 comma 8 and we can observe here so this is the first shell k and this is the second shell l and this is the third shell m and this is the fourth shell n if you observe the valence electrons children what do you mean by valence electrons valence electrons are nothing but uh, the number of electrons present in the outermost shell that means the last shell if you see for the helium it has only one shell it is a k so in that valence electrons are uh, two and if you observe for the neon the valence electron that means your last shell will be the l shell your valence electrons will be eight and for argon and krypton we can also observe the outermost shell contains eight electron that means except helium the remaining elements which are present in the last group that is noble gases or inert gases or zero group or 18th group their valence electrons will be eight so if any atom if it contains eight electrons in their outermost shell they will become stable if any element is a stable they never combine with uh, any other atom and forming as a 
molecule or compound. This is the reason noble gases are stable. That does not participate in any chemical reaction. What is the reason, children? Because of eight electrons in their outer motion. You always have to remember: if any atom contains eight electrons in the outer motion, then they will not participate in any chemical bond because those are stable. Now let me see helium does not contain 8 electrons but uh, all other elements in the no noble gases contain 8 electrons. Then how we can say that uh, helium is also a stable element because helium contains only one shell. In the first shell we can fill only the two electrons. So helium as a completely filled electrons in their outer motion. So helium is the stable. Be by observing the noble gases, we come to know the thought of a chemical bonding. So this is the reason the noble gases are stable because of eight electrons in their outer motion. So once we observe the noble gases in our periodic table. So due to the eight electrons in their outermost shell, we observe the chemical bonding. So and also you can observe other than the noble gases. So we have in our periodic table 18 groups will be present. So except uh, the last group and all other elements uh, will combine uh, with other atoms and forming as a compound or a molecule because that does not contain eight electrons in their outermost shell. So this helps the scientists to understand about the concept of chemical bonding. Now how we can represent an element with the Lewis symbol or Lewis dot structure. The Lewis dot structure can be represented for any atom, we have inner shells and outer most shells and electrons will be present. How to represent any element with Lewis dot structure or Lewis symbol? Now let me see. For example, the first group elements like hydrogen. Okay. So hydrogen, it's an H. So that means inner shell and nucleus or element can be represented by its symbol and outermost shell electrons are represented by the dot. If you see the same element from the same group like your this is your first A group elements if you see the down of hydrogen we have the lithium. So lithium the inner shell as well as the symbol of the element can be represented by its symbol. So here also valence electrons will be 1. If you go for the second group that is beryllium. So beryllium belongs to the second group that is 2A. So in second group the valence electrons will be 2. So those two electrons we are representing with a dot beryllium. Next, uh, for a third group, it's a boron. So, outermost shell contains three electrons. If we want to represent the boron with the Lewis dot structure, as it belongs to third group, uh, so how many electrons will be present? In first group, we have one electron. Second group will have two electrons. Now, the third group will contain, yes, three electrons will be present. Boron for the three electrons. Now let me see for your fourth group that is 4A group that is carbon. So carbon belongs to fourth group so it contains four electrons. We are placing a dots in all the four sides. Similarly if you observe for the fifth group element that is 5A fifth group elements that is nitrogen. So in fifth group, how many electrons will be there? Five electrons. One, two, three, four, five. And sixth group, that is 6A. So in sixth A, that is oxygen, six electrons will be present. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now let me see 
your seventh group element that is seven a so seventh group elements uh, will contain seven electrons that is fluorine so one two three four five six and seven now let me see your last group elements that is eighth a group elements that is the neon so eighth group elements contains eight electrons one two three four five six seven eight. if we observe clearly how to represent a levy symbol or levy's dot structure you have to know how many groups will be there eight groups children so we can remember the eight groups we have to identify the element belongs to which group because the group number represent about its uh, valence electrons for each electron we have to represent with an each dot so for first group elements will contains only one electron and second group elements will contains two electrons and third group contains three fourth group contains four and fifth contains five sixth contains six seventh contains seven and eighth contains eight electrons that means first group elements can participate chemical bonding only one side second group elements can combine with uh, two different atoms third group element can combine with uh, three different atoms and fourth group can combine with uh, four different atoms now coming about a fifth does not think that uh, five atoms it will never combine so already a pair of electrons will be there so it will combine with only the three and sixth one two seventh one one and eighth one contains uh, all completely filled electrons pair of electrons this is the reason eighth group elements that does not participate in any chemical bond that means one two one two three and four and again three two one and zero so this represent about a levy symbol or levy's dot structure children you can write much more examples you have to draw all the dot structures in a particular pattern please write uh, according to their groups divide them one two three four five six seven eight and write all the elements in that group and each group will contain same valence electrons you represent with one one dot for the first group for second group you can place two dots third group you can place for the three dots and fourth group for the four dots so this explains about a levy symbol or levy's dot structure so children so in our next video we are discussing about uh, our next concept electron theory valence children please subscribe my channel to watch your next video thank you